<laughs> that I'm not, I'm not liking. Uh, the Honourable Member for Dufferin Caledon. Uh, yesterday, I asked the Prime Minister to acknowledge the economic pain that Canadians are suffering. Rather than answer, he chose insults. Let's try again. Former Liberal MP Dan McTagg said food prices are going to go up 30 to 35 percent as a result of increases in diesel prices. Gas and diesel up, food prices up, and Canadians are scrambling to make ends meet. And all the while, greenhouse gases go up as well. Will the Prime Minister just admit it? Confession is good for the soul. His environmental and economic policies are a failure and apologize to Canadians. The Honourable Minister of Environment and Climate Change. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I believe the conversation yesterday was about our investment working. So I, I may, maybe I can quote some investment that have been made in his province of Ontario. Six billion dollars with GM in Oshawa to go for electric plant vehicles. Five billion dollars between LG and Stellantis in Windsor to, to, to make the transition to electric vehicles. These are only some of the investment that we've made. And in fact, our emissions are going down, Mr. Speaker, by 30 million tons already. And that's just the, the beginning. Thank you very much. The, hon the Honourable Member for Dufferin Caledon. Well, let's talk about investments. We've all heard of the Midas touch. It turns things to gold. Well, we've got the Liberal touch, and let me tell you, it's not gold. They have invested <laughs> billions of dollars to increase housing affordability. What's happened? Housing prices have doubled. $60 billion spent to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Emissions went up. Helping the middle class, 60% of Canadians are having trouble making ends meet. How is it when this Liberal government spends money, Canadians just end up further behind? Yes. Yeah. The Honourable Minister of Tourism and Associate Minister of Finance. The Conservatives are showing once again that their main role in this chamber is to delay important legislation and distract from important issues. They obstructed getting COVID supports to Canadians and Canadian businesses. They obstructed legislation to get us to climate goals. And now, Mr. Speaker, they are delaying and trying to gut C8. That would help farmers and teachers and Canadians and people with rapid tests. When will they bring C8 to a vote, support Canadians, and focus on affordability? 